Jay Woodcroft's player grade brought to you by Star Mechanical. He's number double zero. Uh, regular season grade, I went with an A minus actually, Liam. I think for the bulk of the season, he did not have enough top six forwards because of injury. Yamamoto, Evander Kane. He found a way to make it work through different ways. I think at times there's some stubbornness here, but that happens when you have a coach who's coaching the same group of players year after year. Like he he has his crutches. I'm not saying mm. Jay Woodcroft is a perfect coach, but he almost led them to a Pacific Division title. He gets a lot of credit for that. I think early in the year, he kind of made the decision to say, hey, this Jack Campbell thing's not working. I'm treating Stuart Skinner like the number one. I think that was a really smart move as well. I think he gets an A- minus for the regular season. Do you disagree with that? Uh, yeah, but only in a positive way. I, I would just give him an A. I mean, this team was one win away from being the Western Conference regular season champions, right? So yeah. I would give it an A on that regard. And for most of the season, like things were going fairly swimmingly, like a 50, 50 win season for, yep. for Woody. So yeah, I'll give him an A. Yeah. Davin says when we were rolling, we were rolling. Mulet gave him a B plus in the regular season. Jules gave him a B in the regular season. D white went B plus as well. Um, but a lot of you, I'm reading your grades for the playoffs and it seems like you agree with me. I went C plus. I see a C, another C, a C plus from Joel. Uh, there were mistakes in the playoffs. I, mm -hmm. I think his line management maybe wasn't the best. I think he probably should have moved away from Cody CC against elites at some point, considering how much he struggled. He loved rolling out Vinny DeHarnay, and I think he should have switched gears to Jack Campbell for game six against the Vegas Golden Knights. There were a handful of mistakes I think Jay Woodcroft made. He kind of got out coached by Bruce Cassidy. Not kind of. He did flat out get out coached. I might, I might go lower. I think I might even go like a C minus, to be honest. I, 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 so the positive is that they obviously won around. I think he was the first coach in however long to do that in back-to-back -back seasons to win a playoff round. So that's very positive. But the Oilers should have been in the Vegas Golden Knights. They were the better team on paper. And in moments, they showed how dangerous they could be. But I just found Woodcroft's inability to to adapt on the fly was was present within that round. Like like you said, the Cody CC thing didn't work. The Dejane thing was... Got better to his credit today on his credit. He did get a little bit better, yep. but there was times when it's like, how is this guy in the lineup? Especially when Broberg comes in, takes the penalty and then gets like bench for him, plays like four minutes. It's like, okay, well, why are you giving different treatments to different guys here? I just didn't quite understand it. They should have gone to Jack Campbell way sooner than they did, especially you pulled Stuart Skinner four times and you didn't start Jack Campbell once in the yep. series. So I'll give him a C minus. I believe in Woodcroft and I, this it was a mistakes that were made, but hopefully they can learn from them and move forward. So A in the regular season for me, C minus for the playoffs. And I mean, like you had it and you think a hundred percent chance of returning next season. Yeah. Davin is in and says bottom six needs more minutes. When Woody came in, remember that was one of the things the yeah. players were praising the bottom six guys were like, we feel like we have a role on this team. And at points this year, he went way too far away from that. Like Clint Costin should have played way more basically throughout the entire back half of the season and into the playoffs. That guy was productive, played mean. I thought he should have gotten a top six look, and it never really came. They didn't play their bottom six enough, and I think that's something Woody needs to get back to doing uh, next season. Like, I think they got to trust Klim more. I think they got to trust Ryan McLeod more as well. Uh, I That's one thing I miss, but I 100% agree. Like, Do you remember that game Klim Costing got benched next to Dayan A, and it was just like the game before he had just scored two goals. It was just... Very strange, like the treatments that were given to some players, and I don't quite understand it. Like another thing, too, just on the depth, like there was this graphic I saw where in the Vegas series, Vegas's minutes through the four lines were split like 16 minutes, 16, 15, and, and no, I'm very distracted. What the fuck is going on in our chat? <laughs> I can't I can't I see this. gonna is... boot that guy. You're getting put in timeout. Oh, hopefully I can go back and read it all. Um, but yeah, they gotta they gotta split up the depth, take more minutes away from McDavid and Dry Saddle, which seems like a crazy thing to say, but trust everybody because that's when your team will thrive the most. The Vegas Golden Knights just did it, and the Oilers need to do that now. 